wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I am cold, I'm wearing a snuggly jumper, and what? So today, we're gonna be doing a magical unboxing. That's right, we're gonna be doing the Wizarding Trunk Year 7. Their box has changed shape, which is throwing me off a little bit. Now, this video is sponsored by the Wizarding Trunk, so this has been sent to me to review for you guys. And if you'd like to know what is inside this magical box, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to come part of our weird magical online family. But let's go. Your one definitely didn't get stuck on the side of the table there. Nope. <laughs> Do I leave my hood up? Are we good? I'm snuggly. Okay, so here we have it, the Wizarding Trunk Year 7 box. Now, I did notice that this box, it's like someone squished it. It is um, thinner than usual, so I'm intrigued, put it that way. So let's have a little open on up. I'm gonna give you a cheeky sneak peek. We have things. What are you? You're the cheat sheet. Don't want it for now. Okay, so here is the cheeky sneak peek, which isn't really helping much. Okay then, so here we have a mystery box. So all of these things are gonna be themed around the, ooh, can see glitter. They're gonna be themed around Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I'm not sure if this is in two parts or not. I haven't heard that it is, but let's have a look in here. Oh, it looks like a potion. Ooh, 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 this is usable. Is this by Alchemy for the Skin or is this by someone else? It is, Alchemy for the Skin presents Essence of Dittany Healing Oil. Use on minor cuts, scrapes, cracked skin, rashes and bug bites. No way, that's actually pretty useful. Made with dittany and calendula infused, infused apricot kernel oil, lavender, antibacterial, lime, antiseptic, and some other stuff for pain relief and in anti-inflammatory. Let's have a little smell. Ooh, it's not a perfume, but it's definitely an oil. It smells really nice. That's really cool because it actually looks like a potion that I could put on my potion shelf, but it actually has a use, so it's not just a prop. I think this may be my favorite thing that I've ever seen come from the Alchemy for the Skin range. Words. Hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. It says Essence of Dittany on the front as well, and it's a healing potion, so you can actually use it if you have little cuts or cracked skin, scrapes, bug bites and all that. Really cool! Little bit shook F about that. I like it. It's definitely gonna go on my potion shelf. Okay, I need to know what this is because... Hmm... It's like a little wreath. I'm not sure what it's from though. It looks very pretty. Do you know what that's from? Nope. I'm gonna have to go to the cheat sheet. Everyone's probably like, duh, Wallace, you should know what that is. You're a fake fan. Either way, it's like a little wreath um, with these beautiful, I mean, it's got wedding themes. Bill and Fleur's wedding, it could be. Uh, little wreath, I want to read more about that. Let's keep on looking. That's what I like about this box. They have some things that reference stuff that you might not remember. Oh my God, there's loads of cool boxes in this. Wow, okay, let me take some of these wiggly worms out because this looks really exciting. Okay, the purple box. The purple box has got me. There's something quite heavy in here. And you guys know what to say about small boxes. Good things usually come in them. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a really good idea. So there's a, mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh, it's just small. This is a soap. This is made by Dragonfly Essentials, dragonflybbc.com. Oh, I don't know what that scent is, but it's delicious. But I like the idea of this because on the little card, it says, we apologize for the abrupt ending to our wedding. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a wedding wreath. Uh, we also wanted to make sure everyone got to enjoy a piece of the amazing wedding cake. And to say thank you to everyone that celebrated our special day with us, B and F. Bill and Fleur. So this is meant to smell like black raspberry and vanilla. It's a cold press soap by Dragonfly Essentials. It says this is not actually cake. Please do not eat this product. <laughs> I shall not eat it but it smells delicious. It's very beautifully presented. 
That's probably one of the nicest bath and beauty products I have ever seen in a magical subscription box. I'm definitely going to use that. It smells really heavenly and the fact that it came in a little box like that as like a little wedding favour. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Mm. Ooh. I'm not lying about needing a bigger potion shelf, an ingredient shelf. We have got here an ingredient bottle and this is Fluxweed. I do actually have a miniature Fluxweed already. So this has got lichen in there, which is one of my favorite things to put inside any potion or ingredients bottles because it looks real. So it says picked at the full moon on the 2nd of February, 19, 88. That's actually really nice. I really love the label. The label's done well. It looks authentic. Love a good ingredient. Okay, this is a really strong box so far. Okay, I need to know what is inside this box. We've got a very shiny box, which is pleasing me because you, you guys know that I'm a niffler. <laughs> cool. Wow, my tummy just like went. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. That's actually beautiful. <gasps> wow, it's a letter opener in the shape of a Gryffindor. Okay, this is very cool. Can you see? Oh, it's beautiful. It's even got like a little red diamond. The detail on it is stunning. That is very cute. Okay, so it says excellent for destroying cursed objects or simply destroying seals on cursed letters. Never destroy beautiful wax seals again. This sword only takes in that which strengthens it. That is very nice. I do not possess a letter opener. Obviously I've got my little, uh, what is it called? A Stanley knife, pen knife, flippy thing, stabby stab. Um, but I don't have a letter opener. This is very, very pretty. I enjoy that a lot. All right, all right, wizardry trunk. I see you coming out of all the cool things. Color me impressed. <sighs> okay, there are still many things. Okay, we've run out of small boxes, but that doesn't mean that good things don't come in small bags. <laughs> okay, the velvet one has got my attention. What could it be? Oh. Yes, this is so going on my Ministry of Magic shelf, which is kind of like the Umbridge shelf as well, but there are Ministry of Magic things on there too. This is a single entry token to the Ministry of Magic, and it's even got the Ministry of Magic logo on there. This is really nicely made, actually. It's double-sided. That's really cute. I like that a lot. I love coins. My Niffler's going to be pleased. I'm going to be pleased. Love that. It's going straight on the shelf. In the little bag. Boop. Okay. Any guesses to what could be in this bag? It's kind of heavy. Should I give it a feel first? My initial kind of thought is it's some sort of pocket watch thing, but I don't think it will be. But it's got that kind of smooth, round feel to it. It is a st stone and then I turned it around it says here lies a free elf oh my feels oh I have plans to go and visit the beach where Dobby was buried I'm tempted to take this with me and put it down with the rest of the kind of memorial things hit me right in the feels I the first time I saw that scene uh, cried my little eyes out so oh that's actually really nice. It's kind of engraved and then it's white on the inside. I wonder if everyone's stone is the same. If you've got this box, can you send me, send me a picture of what your pebble looked like? That's very thoughtful and hit me in the feels. Okay, there are things still. Okay, let's have a look at this month's Wizarding Trunk exclusive pin. Oh, oh nice. We've got the Golden Snitch, which was given to Harry in the Will and Testament of Albus Dumbledore. And it's the snitch that says, I open at the close. That's actually a really nice pin. It's not enameled. It's just metal, kind of brushed metal. And then it's got engraving, engraving in it. <clears throat> wow, I think I'm dying. 
don't mind me. I open at the close, so it doesn't have any wings on it, but it's a very nice thing. You don't see many pins that are just the metal, so it says the reward, the, wow, I quit. <laughs> Help! The rewards of perseverance and skill, it says on the front. So that's very nice. That's actually one of the nicest pins I have seen come from the wizarding trunk. Usually they do the kind of cartoony style pins, which I'm personally not a fan of, but that's just personal preference. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of most of the Harry Potter Wizarding World cartoony vibe thing. Even the stuff that you get in Primark, I'm not really into it. Um, but this is very, very nice. I like that a lot. Okay, so we have got left in here something rolled. Well, two things rolled, and we'll get to the artwork in a moment. So this is getting my attention. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Tales of the Beetle, Beetle the Bard. That is a nice little thing. That's actually a really pretty thing that you can put on your wall. It actually goes with a lot of stuff in my house. It's not bright. It will go with the colour of my walls. Quite nice. Little flag. Again, don't see many of these banner things in these kind of boxes either, so... It's nice to see something new. What do you guys think about this? Wait, nope. My brain has just had an entire brain fart. Uh, it's not from Tales of the Beard of the Bar. My brain just went straight to death and the Tales of the Three Brothers. It's the quote on the tombstone of James and Lily, which is a really sad part where Harry has gone to see their tombstone for the first time in Godric's Hollow. That is a quote that is along the bottom. Brain? Got there eventually. Right, I'm expecting good things in this because I love... Wizarding Trunk have come out with some really nice things to be framed. Usually maps and that kind of thing. And I'm wondering, is this another map type thing? Oh, she is. This is, oh, Godric's Hollow. Another place that I need to visit soon. And of course, I will take you guys with me. In fact, let me know what places in the UK that you would like to see me visit and take you guys along. Leave a comment down below saying, I would like you to go X, Y, Z. So yes, this is Godric's Hollow. We've got the map. We've got the church and the graveyard on Church Lane. Spring Lane. <laughs> High Street. And then it's got all of the kind of numbers and where these things are. It's actually printed on this really nice paper, which does genuinely feel like an authentic old-fashioned map like if this was real I'd be like yes I could believe that so yeah it's on parch it's kind of like parchment very very cool so I do like these I've got a few of these in my collection that I'm yet to frame but this is another location map which I approve of Okay, this has been a really fun box so far, so let's end it on some artwork and uh, let's see what is inside. Okay, so this is Malfoy Manor and it's on that beautiful paper again. I'm going to open it on up. Doo, doo, doo. Here it is, Malfoy Manor and this has the, um, the ground kind of blueprints of what is inside the manor. Uh, I've again never seen anything like this. This also has some really nice artwork surrounding it. We've got an albino peacock over here. We've got the house carvings. We've got a door and a pillar. So it shows you, wow, the Malfoys had such a big house. It's ridiculous. They've got a library, a terrace, a ladies tea room. I mean, I wouldn't mind one of those. A morning room. A ballroom, a parlour, kitchen, many bedrooms, all with en suites. Oh, the Malfoys are fancy, they know how to live in style. They've got a music room. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much goals to live in a house with a floor plan like that. Wouldn't mind one for myself. So yes, that is everything. I feel like I've whisked through this box really quickly. Okay then, so that leaves us with the cheat sheet of dreams. Now, the Wizarding Trunk do print their cheat sheets onto fun paper replicas, and this here is a non-magical registration commission. Administrative registration department. This, I think this is a application for something at the Ministry of Magic. What are you? Hmm. 
I'm confused, but let's have a look at the cheat sheet, shall we? So, oh, this was part one, so there's gonna be a part two. I am very excited. I wasn't sure, to be honest. So, we have got the Wisdom Trunk Year 7, part one, the Epitaph Pin Banner. Oh, okay, so this is something for you to stick your pins on as well. But I feel as though that would ruin the quote if you put all your pins over that, unless you only had a few and put it around the edge. Either way, it's a nice thing and definitely will work as a pin banner. They're quite good like that. A perfect way to display some of your favorite pins. Number two was the, oh no, my brain is the worst today. Memorial Reef. It's not from the wedding, though it looks like it is from a wedding. Look how beautiful it is. My brain has been useless. Um, yes, I don't know why I didn't remember that. I've seen that scene, scene hundreds of times. It's where Hermione creates a wreath for James and Lily when Harry is at the tombstone and it's kind of like a memorial wreath. So yes, that does totally make sense. I thought it was like a, a decoration from <laughs> Bill and Fleur's wedding. Um, which would have kind of made sense because it's the same movie. But yes, that totally makes sense and it does look like the wreath that Hermione made. I'm tired today, can you tell? But um, either way, that's actually a really sad thing to get in a subscription box. It's a little bit upsetting having a memorial wreath inside the subscription box. Is that just me? <laughs> I don't know. It's, um, yeah, a little upsetting. It's kind of like the Dobby thing. There's many sad things. To be fair, it's a sad film. You can't really avoid it. But uh, either way, I've never seen this before, so that's really cool. So the next thing is The Essence of Dittany, which is here. This is an actual bottle of healing potion. This potion was created for us by Alchemy for the Skin. I love the idea of this. Pretty genius to put in a box. Even though I've not always been the biggest fan of Bath and Beauty things in subscription boxes, but this is, the idea behind this is very nice. Okay, number four was the Manners First Floor Blueprints, which was the print over here. This is a watercolour print which was created by JP Mistlecrow, and it's the Wizarding Trunk exclusive. So, yes, we have seen this artiste before. Number five was the Gryffindor Sword letter opener. And it says, no cursed objects to destroy. Oh, it's got the, um, the same spiel that was on here, on here as well. Number six was the I open at the close pin. Another one that you can only get via this box and the wizarding trunk. We also had a map of the hollow, so Godric's hollow, a map to help you find your way around a hometown you may never have visited, created by In The Reeds, another exclusive. Then, oh, okay, so the, the little stone that was to put where Dobby lay to rest, God bless his soul. This is a memorial stone paperweight. Use this item to remember everyone's favorite elf. I do actually really love this item. <laughs> And then we had Fluxweed. This is an ingredient. It's essential when looking to brew a potion to change oneself into another. Yes, that's right. So this is an ingredient to make polyjuice potion, if you didn't know. Or when looking to create seven of the same person, which obviously all of the Order of the Phoenix did to help save Harry and move him somewhere else. Then we have the little token, which is in this little bag. The single token entry coin, yes, you have to flush yourself in. <laughs> so if you wanna get into the Ministry of Magic, go flush yourself down the loop. Number 11 was the slice of wedding cake cold process soap, which was in here. And it just says, don't eat it. It may smell good enough to eat though. So, okay, that was a really fun box. And there was a lot of strong items in there. I've got one, two, Three, four, five, six. I liked most of the stuff in this box, actually. I was gonna say there's like six or seven favorites, but then I thought that's too many favorites. If I was to pick one, whoo, oh, I don't know. Mm. It may have to be the Sword of Gryffindor letter opener, just because it's a wonderful idea to make a letter opener out of the Gryffindor sword. I really, really like that. But weirdly enough, and I know I have said it a lot, like 
don't like bath products in boxes. It's all about personal preference. You never know if people are gonna like it or not. I actually really, really enjoyed the those kind of products in this particular box today. They're just great. The essence of Dittany was genius and the fact that it's usable is fantastic. The soap is beautifully presented. Again, the idea behind it as a piece of wedding cake because they had to cut their wedding ceremony and reception off early, like, mm, smells heavenly. I wish you could smell it. It smells so, so good. So those were really fun. Obviously, I loved the Here Lies Dobby and the Flux Weed and the pin. Yeah, what a fantastic box. I think my least favorite thing was probably the Manor print and <laughs> maybe the wreath because it's a little upsetting to have in a box. But other than that, I think this might be one of the strongest wizarding trunk boxes that we have seen to date. I would love to know your thoughts, so leave a comment down below. What would your favourite item have been from this box if you received it or if you have received it? And what would your least favourite item be? Leave a comment down below, I'll be sure to check them out. And yeah! What a strong box. Ah, many magical things. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up. And I will be doing part two of this box. I'm really excited to see what the Wizarding Trunk are gonna come up with because to me, they just seem to be getting better and better and better. And yeah, I think they're one to keep your eye on, to be honest. So ah, I hope you're all having a magical day and thanks for watching and I'll see you 